Uh, this is uh, an area of the Lilayet River where I think uh, if more logs get stuck into this narrow uh, part of the river, like here, uh, this could cause a flooding for the local small community. There are a number of farms in here and um, yeah, so it's, people live in the area, uh, they have animals and the river appear to uh, drop its level, but you see stuff gets stuck here. So I'm going to drive a few kilometers upstream, uh, see how it, the river looks like, but according to the marks on the rocks, the river drops uh, the day probably by a few centimeters in the last couple of hours which is a good sign. Uh, look at the massive river. Here you could see uh, sandbars, you can see rocks and all that, but now it's all full of water. So let's uh, drive a couple more kilometers, see what can I show you about this river during this uh, hot, uh, hot season in the fast melting water, uh, like ice and glacier and uh, snow, snowpack. So no more snow on the mountains here, but there are a couple of uh, spots here and there. And this is a gravel road. Uh, lots of people drive very, very fast, uh, but it's not very smart to drive fast uh, this time of the, the year, uh, especially with this, uh, this raging water. So I'm on a four wheel drive and I'm doing about maybe 50 something kilometer an hour but I know there are people who do 70 80 here and myself I want to keep it safe I don't want to lose control and end up somewhere especially uh, when the road goes near the water like here so if I come fast 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 like I lose control, I lose my uh, my grip on the road and let me show you what's here. Okay. The river is right here. And it's big. Okay, I'll keep going. I have to watch for stuff on the road, maybe uh, hikers or I don't know, animals. Uh, it's a bear country and bears are on the road all the time. But I'm recording the river here. So if you are from the area or you are just curious, yes, what uh, you see here is on 29th of June 2021. Here it used to be uh, just a, pa a pond but now it's on the water. Oh, good thing that uh, now I can see through my windshield. There is some snow on the peaks, but not much. And you see the smoke in the field. I do... Oh, uh, yes, there are more areas with some snow. On my way uh, to Pemberton, where I am right now, in, in Whistler, I could see, a, a, I don't know, it's a, like a huge amount uh, of smoke, like a big... Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. A uh, big plume of, of smoke. Uh, was Pemberton and I thought, oh, that's not cl a cloud. It's not a cloud. It looks very big and ugly and um, it's way bigger than a limbo cumulus or something. And it's wide. It's not only like a towering cloud, it's wide. And I thought, oh, okay, what's going on? I want to see that. So I had to go to the river uh, by the airport to see the river levels, to see if the predictions were correct. And they were uh, a bit off. 
I don't know what models those people use when they predict the water level. Uh, they are good with uh, weather prediction, but um, water levels were well, uh, maybe a day off, maybe. And about the temperature, uh, Environment Canada issued. Oh, oh, this is a big, big one. Okay, so this is. Okay, I think this is all about to get here on the road. Okay, let me let me check it out. Okay, that's that's. Let's back up a bit because this is. This is very high. Wow, it's very like uh, maybe 20 centimeter, uh, maybe yeah, 20 centimeter below the road level. Hey, right, it's right here. And look at the river, and look that the logs are going around like uh, floating. That's big. The whole valley is flooded. Okay, I don't know how far I can get. Uh, usually, it's a it's a gate, uh, kilometer two from from the beginning of this uh, gravel road. And I'm told that the uh, the gate was open about two weeks ago. My friend went hiking to the hot spring, so the first gate was open. And I expect to drive another maybe 10 kilometers after that. It's almost 8 p.m. Um, that's after work. Let's see, this guy is coming, uh, so he's not flashing lights, so he's not warning me about any flooding. But yeah, the water is right here. My kids went to Lytton. Uh, he's probably on the way home. He went to check the temperature, the predicted temperature of 47 Celsius, like uh, the record-breaking temperature in Canada. So since he's uh, a town in uh, British Columbia, he's been there a few times. Um, he thought to take someone along and uh, check the temperature, and he made it to Lytton. So that's in uh, British Columbia and he measured 48, 48 Celsius degrees so uh, the temperature prediction were accurate, uh, like uh, pretty close and he measured with his uh, uh, infrared thermometer he measured uh, over 60 Celsius degrees on uh, pavement, on asphalt, on the road which is impressive how hard the road can get so this is another place where the road, the, um, the river gets close to the road. And let me see, that's uh Oh, I've been here. I've been here with my wife. Uh, last year, I guess, before the winter, yes. And... Um, my son told me that uh, the Weather Network channel, the TV crew was uh, in town to record that and record the forest fire. So it was a action-packed trip for my kid. And for me, also, it's a nice getting out adventure, getting out of the town. I've been here, on, not on this particular uh, road, but uh, at the airport on Sunday afternoon. And I got home around 2 o'clock and the next day I had to go back to the office but now I'm uh, pumped so let's see what's what's next so in case you didn't know about this sign okay so grizzly, grizzly country uh, not far from here there is a gate preventing people to get into the area at a certain time of the year, like most of the time of the year. I 
I've been here in the winter, uh, not all the way here, uh, because the snow is uh, probably two meter deep, and they have a, a machine that is grooming the road, but not all the way. And um, so I, I've been snowshoeing, I've been uh, hiking, summertime, winter time. So it's always a, a nice to be area. Let's see here. Okay, so again, the uh, river is getting closer to the road. Oh yes, look at that, look at that. So all this stuff, oh, you see what's coming from the mountain. This stuff is getting stuck right here. The difference between the two types of water Also, if you were wondering uh, where the, the debris comes from, if you see logs all over the place, if you see the dead trees and stuff, you think, okay, uh, how come the river is far away and how come I see, I see stuff close to the road? And now you know, in case you, you didn't know. the river so it says April 1st to June 15 okay so they just opened a few days ago or something And of course here, the river went around some uh, piece of land, uh, formed an island. I don't know who have the patience to watch this stuff, but maybe my mom, maybe. <laughs> because I do record a lot. Uh, I'm a detailed oriented person and I don't cut corners and I don't edit my videos. And, uh, I do record what I see, or whoever wants to see. But I'm not going to record like a journalist and allow the uh, editing team uh, to cut and uh, present or uh, edit and make a video of the most powerful images to impress. I'm not looking to impress, but okay okay now it's getting uh, closer to the road i have to watch out how i'm backing up okay so this one can break okay you see how it flooded so i don't know how deep it went under the road but you know if uh, sometimes the uh, the river is digging pockets and it's like uh, it's hollow underneath and you drive and you lose control and you flip right you see it also here is flooded because of uh, other creeks oh yeah it's, uh, the creek itself is pushing is pushing the, the water because it comes with some pressure from the higher elevation and it's trying to get into the river but the river is high high up so it's not allowing the creek to get in but the creek is po powerful and uh, sneaking out like a, a fountain <laughs> 